Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Real Music, Real Talk with Michael Donovan here on WPKN Serving Fairfield, New Haven, and Litchfield Counties in Connecticut, as well as Suffolk County in New York, or on the World Wide Web at WPKN.org. Welcome to another Sunday morning. I am subbing, as I have been most of the summer months and into the end of this year for Mr. Garnett Ankle. And um, before we get into some music, and also at some point I'm going to have Mr. Latif Belcher, a very talented photographer who's also training here to be a programmer at WPKN. He will come to uh, share and also play some great music as well. Um, you know, the other night, um, and, I'm think, and I think... There are many, many people who feel the same way as I do. Um, and I want to say before I even get into this that uh, my opinion does not reflect the opinion of this great station. Um, I went to bed Tuesday night uh, with the outcome of the election still in the balance. Woke up at 3 a.m. to a nightmare that I still have not uh, gotten up from, so to speak. But I think we're all awake now. Um, had a very, very tough time getting to sleep, and as a result of the outcome, and um, as you know, there's been a lot of chatter in the last few days, um, who knows, we may be entering a very, very dark period in this country, in the history of this great nation, um, never before has someone with virtually no political experience been elected to the highest office in the land. And you couple that with his xenophobe, his racism, his fascism, uh, his uh, just total disregard for people, the total disrespect for women uh, and people of all, all walks of life. Um, and, and I'm thinking, how do you reconcile this? But as they say, the people have spoken. I don't know if the right or wrong type of people. Um, there's a lot of disappointment and there's a lot of uncertainty. Um, I will say this, uh, this, this man, this candidate, this president elect, I should say, because that is his title. Now they talk about the need to give him a chance. Well, did he give the people that he insulted a chance? My opinion is going forward. He needs to be held accountable for his actions. He needs to apologize to these people that he is, that he has offended. And there are quite a few. He's got a lot, a lot of people lined up to, to, receive those apologies and that doesn't mean that he's going to be forgiven but it's something that he has to do to strike a conciliatory, a conciliatory mood in this country he had the nerve after all of this dirt after all this scorched earth to actually say that um, let's all come together let's all unite let's all bond uh, you got to consider the source um, coming from this guy um Again, this is so much work to be done. Uh, you've got children crying and you've got parents struggling to co to explain to them why this is taking place. Um, again, uh, these next 60, 66, 67 days or so will go a long way in determining the course that uh, this nation uh, will take. Um, again, this is just my opinion and... Um, it's a sad, sad period. Uh, once again, you're welcome. You're listening. I'm sorry. Welcome to Real Music, Real Talk with Michael Dunham, WPKN. And I'm here from 7 to 10. Uh, I will be joined about 8.30 with, uh, by Mr. Latif Belcher. Very, again, very, very talented photographer. He's going to be doing his thing. And uh, tomorrow night, I'll be back on air at 11 with my regular, regularly scheduled program, Real Music, Real Talk, from 11 to 2, 11 p.m., to 2 a.m. on the FM, WPKN 89.5. And it's going to be a special show because I will have two R&B music pioneers, uh, bass player, songwriter, producer, Mr. James Calloway. James Calloway may not be a household name to you, but for those of us who are in the music industry in some capacity, many of us know who he is, especially on the R&B tip. Um... He's one of the best bass players uh, around, particularly on the East Coast. I've had the pleasure of working with him numerous times in the great club band called Night Market. Um, he wrote uh, big time along with uh, 
the other guest, I will tell you about him. He wrote big time for Rick James back in 1979. Uh, he also was involved in the creation of the song Get Over Like a Fat Rat. It was a huge urban hit for Fonda Ray in the early 80s. Um, he is best known for that booming bass line in Jocelyn Brown's uh, Somebody Else's Guy, which was a huge hit back in 1983-84 and remains a club classic. And I'll be joined by his good friend and, and partner in music, Mr. Leroy, Leroy Burgess. Leroy Burgess was the original uh, lead vocalist, one of the founding members of Black Ivory. Uh, his soaring falsetto remains a uh, classic voice in the R&B annals. Um, Going to be really excited about talking to these guys about their business, um, their start and what they've done in, in this industry. And I know they've done so much and they've done so much more than I even realized. I've done some research on these guys and um, we're going to have a good time. And that is uh, tomorrow night at 11 p.m. Uh, here at WPKN. 89.5 FM as well as www.wpkn.org.